have been floating on down this familiar hole. Where's the bottom at? Scary thing is, I just don't know. The lowest of lows from three years ago are one choice away from being beaten tomorrow. Sorrow. Lately, I'm on edge. I made a pledge to some friends, brought it down with the binge, and I cringe when I think what could have possibly been. Solitude. Locked in a prison, within a windowless prison, except closed eyes, visions of success, in the ensuing test by psychiatrists of a sickness diagnosed only when confessed, from deep in your chest has been pressed with the rest of the mess that I thought of as my burden of potential. I found the cure for myself was to be potential less, a seemingly outside perspective which I've used much less. It's like I've been living in a sequel to 2012. Hell on its way back. And all I really had to do was throw a penny in the well. No matter the size, life's waves and its tides, my life is my life and I have the ability to decide. So where's that fine line we decide to give up? Like the other nine out of 10 addicts on a corner with a tip cup, what's up? Can I get a quick handout? These daydreams were eating me while the reality got loud. I've got rages and fits again, and I'm always wondering when life is going to look up, and maybe I can make amends, and how am I going to pull myself out, or am I getting close to the end? And did God send me to die, or did he send me to live? If this is life, I'd rather die like my friends, and I'm leaving my girl, because I'm bringing her with. It's tough to thrive when I've got a mind like this. It's probably time for a conscious shift. How was it to put myself through this again? I'm running down the freeway, blood boiling with nitroglycerin. A ticking time bomb looked at like a loose cannon. I jump off these cliffs, but why do I keep landing? I've heard a saying. If you aren't living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. I've constantly jumped off of it thinking my life is a waste. And I shiver when I tiptoe in this mountainous air. Unaware of my present. Because the future isn't there. Here, where, does anyone really care? My future has been my past due to present judgments and shares. My hair sticks up feeling a kid taping a sign on my back to wear. Kick me. I'm an addict. And like I said, no one really cares to help me take it off of there. I'm sorry I'm an addict. I'm sorry for my habits. I'm sorry I live this way. Take my life. You can have it. It's like I'm stuck in a game of limbo, trying to fit under this beam I set so low. The only possibility for me would be me lifting this thing so high that the judges couldn't see. And you may believe addiction is genetic or acquired. And it probably was best when that dude you knew got fired. But please, for the sake of every spiritual or other type of belief, do unto sufferers of this as if it's the others you do unto for you. Know that the hope or less may just start with you. We are crying inside for attention of difference. Whispers from lost acquaintances to friends, past tense. When addicts are suffering from activism, this system promotes opinion as if it is wisdom. Trust must be lost, but trust the love that you've got. We miss you terribly, but our heart's mind has forgot. Don't be afraid to send a quick text. Just tell us you love us. Ask what's next. And they say home is where the heart is. I say there's many capable leaders acting heartless. Start with the knowledge that this machine was originally meant to be a new land over the sea, away from tyranny, where all men are equal and free. But now within this country's judicial system, drug addicts are criminals instead of possible victims. Possible trapped souls crying for help to be unleashed, but instead of release, sent to a deeper level of hell in the form of a jail cell. Felonious covers for these books unread, unheard, except by a judge and a panel of jurors, selected only after a background check to ensure. They look for guilt or innocence, instead of a cure. As I end this, I do it in this present tense. This system isn't rehabilitating the true issue. 
It is society's uneducated and misguided way of saying a debilitating disease is easier pegged, doomed to die, and categorize these trapped spirits crying eyes with selective deafness to their cries for guidance. Rather than realizing we are nothing less than potential's next best kept secret. I'm proud of my life's many lessons, but I'm leaving that label here. You can keep it. <laughs>